Hello, and welcome to Winder News. I'm your host, Joanne Klein. And I'm your co-host, Mike Inglace. <laughs> November 4th, 5th, and 6th, PAC will be hosting Pride Night Movie Night. This time, the series will screen Purge election, election Year. The event will be held in Freedom Hall Theater at 7 o'clock on Friday and Saturday, and 5 o'clock on Sunday. The Panhellenic Council will be hosting a Card for Vets event on Thursday, November 3rd in the UC. Head over to make a card for a veteran. Now let's head over to Johan with Widener Sports. Hi, I'm Yoan Espino. Let's talk Widener Sports. Men football suffered another defeat as they faced Albright this weekend with a score of 33 to 9. Men's football now has a 5-3 record as they picked up five wins and three losses. They'll hit the road this weekend and face Kings on Saturday, November 5th. Women's soccer concluded their season with a 3-2 victory over Hood. While men's soccer ended their season with a loss to Hood with a score of 1-6. Men's women got a huge victory this weekend as they earned a 151 to 111 victory. They will look to remain undefeated in Mid-Atlantic Conference competition when they travel to Hood to face Messiah at the Florum and the host Blazers on November 5th. Women's swimming also got a huge victory this weekend and they will also be traveling to Hood to face Messiah at the Florum and the Blazers on November 5th. That's all I have for you this weekend. Now back to Joanne and Mike. Thanks, Johan. Next week on Wednesday, November 9th, the Pride Activities Council will be hosting a Hogwarts Express Cash Cab. The event will be held in the UC from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. This event is a Harry Potter-inspired event where students can have fun while express expressing their interest in Harry Potter. For more information, contact the email below, prideactivitiescouncil at mail.widener.edu. Now I'm more of a Lord of the Rings fan myself, but that's okay. Oh. <laughs> the Pride Activities Council will be hosting a mystical bingo next Wednesday. The event will begin at 8 p.m. at Latham Hall, so make sure to be there early before it fills up. Ooh, I love bingo. I'm excited for that. Also coming up this week, the Winer Dance Company will be hosting their fall recital this Friday and Saturday. The show on Friday will begin at 7 p.m., and there will also be two shows on Saturday, one at 1 p.m. and the second on 7 p.m. Come out and support the Winer Dance Company while enjoying a great show. Let's head over to Francesca for this week's weather. Francesca. I'm Francesca. Let's take a look at this week's Widener weather. This week will be filled with plenty of sunshine. Tuesday will be partly cloudy with a high of 58 and a low of 49. Wednesday will continue to be mostly sunny with a high of 69 and a low of 54. On Thursday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 72 and a drop to a low of 49. Friday, we'll be expecting a clear sunny sky with a high of 61 and a low of 45. On Saturday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 62 and a low of 42. But on Sunday, we will see a few clouds with a high of 59 and a low of 40. On Monday, we will continue to see a partly cloudy sky with a high of 60 and a low of 41. That's all I have for you on this week's Winder Weather. Now back to Joanne and Mike in the studio. That's all we have for you this week on Widener News. Coming to you from the Widener Studios, I'm your host, Joanne Klein. And I'm your co-host, Mike Inglis. Hope you enjoyed our show, and we hope to see you next week.